It depends on where you are. <laughs> parts of the valley clearing out of the rain. However, parts of the foothills and the Sierra still getting slammed with some pretty heavy rain and snow. Here's a look at the course of the past couple of hours, and you can see the back edge of this pulling through the valley. As we take a little closer perspective, just off to the east of Quincy, still seeing some snow up there for Plumas County. Along I-80, still seeing areas of snow, and just down the hill, it is rain. Same goes for Highway 50. Parts of Kirkwood seeing areas of snow. Arnold, it's rain as well as Murphy's, but you can see this line right here near Sonora a little closer perspective and that's producing some pretty good downpours. It will come and go here for the next couple of hours, so we'll see additional accumulations for the foothills. The valley, we're pretty much done with accumulated rain. Picked up about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of rain for most of us, a three tenths of an inch for Marysville, closer to about a quarter of an inch to just under an inch for parts of the foothills. And again, some isolated areas really squeezing out that moisture. Winds also a big factor of this storm. We knew that was coming right around the midday hour picked up wind gusts close to about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Sierra wind gusts were upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour, though. Our highs for today, this was a very mild storm. It was pulling in that moisture from just south of us, and so highs reached almost to 60 degrees region-wide. Oroville, Marysville, Sacramento, Fairfield, Stockton, and Modesto. Close to 50 for Jackson, Placerville, and Auburn. Up in the Sierra, 39 today for Truckee and 44 for South Lake Tahoe. This is how we started off the day in Plymouth from Sheridan, and then things really turned with a lot of rain moving up through the foothills. Upload those photos on the ABC 10 app by hitting the weather tab. So we'll look outside. Oh, we should be looking at the Gilmore backyard and uh, we should be seeing uh, really clearing skies as we head throughout this evening. Calmer winds as well. Sunrise at 724. Now for tomorrow, we are going to see some cloud cover, but basically fog is going to be the main story early tomorrow and then the clouds start to move in later in the day. Dry conditions for the hills in this year and again, a mild day on tap. Things clear out of here tonight and we're back to the dry weather for our Tuesday. Storm track though, very fast favorable for us to get that next storm in here on Wednesday with some very light showers. Accumulation is not going to be intense like what we saw for today, especially for some of those isolated pockets, nor the thunderstorm activity. It's a quick mover by the evening. Everything is out of here and we're back to the dry weather awaiting that next storm on Friday. It's going to be another week one. The biggest one is now just about wrapped up for today. Highs are in the 40s tomorrow for the Sierra 50s as we head down the hill with our five day forecast showing on and off snow showers popping up here Wednesday and Friday. Other than that should be some dry weather and temperatures aren't going to be terribly cold here. 50s along the coast. We see 50s as well as we start to head inland. Morning lows a little bit cooler than this morning. Won't have the cloud cover as kind of that buffer to keep us warmer. Right around 41 for Tracy, 42 for Modesto, as well as Lodi with those afternoon highs in the lower 50s. And then for the Sacramento region again, tomorrow a dry day. Watch out for the patchy, dense fog. Otherwise, partly to mostly cloudy skies and highs in the 50s. A look at that 10-day forecast, and we have the opportunity for some showers both Wednesday and Friday. Then dry for the upcoming weekend. Slight chance of some showers on Monday.